Okay, so this was a bowl that I did some experimentation on. Um, you can sort of kind of see the imprint around the bottom, but the glaze didn't really break over it. So a lot of it is obscured. And this is mauve and tamford blue. The rim, as you can see, it's thick on this side and then thin on this side and it broke while it was drying because I played with it too much. But, sorry about the train. Okay, the train is gone all but the diesel smell. Um, anyway, tamper blue mauve. Um, in retrospect, I should have taken a damp sponge and cleaned this up a little bit before bisking. And you can see how the imprint shows on most of it, but in places where the glaze is thick, like right there where it ran a little bit, um, it kind of obscures that imprint. So what happened was this was set in a saucer and the rim of the saucer curved up. I don't think the glaze would have run all the way to the shelf right there. I think it probably would have stopped at the foot like the rest of it did, like right there. But it is what it is. I'll take a Dremel and grind that off. Um, save the bowl for two reasons. One, reminder of my lesson to stay centered. And two, it makes a not bad little mixing bowl. You can put your thumb right there. It gives you a way to hold on to it a little more securely. Anyway, I'll just use it around my house. And it turned out okay. <laughs>